Dance last night, pre-flight Zero hour, it's 9 a.m. And gonna be high, high It's a guy by then I think it's gonna be a long, long time Touchdown brings me around again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home Oh no, no, no I'm a rocket man Rocket man Burning out of fuel up here alone Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, Doug Edgel here for FingersOnTheFrets.com I hope you're all safe and staying indoors during this difficult and uncertain time. Um, I'm taking this time to uh, make some videos and uh, update the website and practice and uh, one of my students uh, requested that I score out Rocket Man. So what I was doing there was just showing you basically how the guitar part's going to be if you would sing and play it. This is my guitar interpretation of the song. A um, couple things right off the bat. The original version would be capoed at the third fret. So uh, I can't sing that high especially today in the morning. So if you capo it on the third fret, it would be like, She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. And I don't want to sing that high, especially right now. So to match the record, you might want to go to the third fret. But I scored this out in open position, which again, just put the capo on. Okay, so uh, as you know, here at Fingers on the Frets, I like to make acoustic guitar interpretations. And why I do that is because I want to thicken up the chords and make them a little bit, uh, quote unquote jazzier and just sound a little hipper. So if you go to the website, you can download this. There's three pages to this score. And uh, the chords aren't super complicated, but the, I made the rhythm a little bit more interesting. So let's dive right in. The first chord is an E minor nine, and that looks like this. And I really like this chord. I use this in my little wing arrangement, uh, the uh, acoustic guitar arrangement for that. And then we go to A7, and then this is sort of like an A7 sus4 and 6. <laughs> Not really sure what to call that one. So that's the main two figure chords. It's this E minor 9 that I'm using, and then A7 up to this A7, and the second finger would be the sliding finger on that one. And I do this bit of a... Okay, that's just how I'm approaching the song. Again, this is all my interpretation. If I was on a solo gig, which I do a lot of, and I was gonna play this tune, I would approach it like this, just acoustic guitar version of the song. So I'm not trying to replicate the piano part, you know, so please don't send me emails <laughs> saying that it's not like the piano. I know that, it's just my interpretation. And a lot of people seem to like these interpretations. So thank you for buying the sheet music, watching the videos. Um, I appreciate that. So anyway, verse, same as the intro. Now right before the, and I'm going to be high, there's like a little kick. Uh, I guess it would be on the uh, E. <laughs> For E and uh, uh, the E of uh, beat four, if you know your sixteenth notes, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, so it's like, and then he does that high. Now on that part, I'm gonna do this little descending with a C, and then do a G to over B, A minor seven, and then the D over F sharp. D. So let's go over that again. So we got E minor, E9. Now that little kick right there is a G over B. 
sometimes I grab it with a 1-4, sometimes I grab it with a 2-4, whatever you feel comfortable with. And I do a little percussive right before that, so. Now right there on the D over up sharp, a lot of people like to just do it with a thumb, totally whatever you want. It's a little thicker, bigger. I like it with a one, two, four, that shape. And on that, again, that's at the end of that measure where I go. I'm trying to get like a little bit of the bass movement in there as well. I try to do that, especially when I'm not playing with the bass player. So, um, okay, um, let me go on. So that repeats back to this. Second ending, instead of just staying on the D chord, um, this is what we consider. Uh, it says G sus four over D. So basically, if you have a G chord, which is this, and you added your first finger on the C note right there, that's a sus four. But we're not going to play the low G. We're just going to stay on the top four strings, and it kind of creates this really nice, um, basically like a five chord sound, and then it resolves to. Okay, so then just recapping. To the G, okay, then. And I think it's gonna be a long, long seat to touch down. Back to G. Then, oh no, 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 he goes, uh, well, I, this is what I do, I don't know what the piano does. So. Seven. So, oh no, 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 I'm a rocket man. There's that kick again, I like it, makes it nice. Then, rocket man, burning out of fuel up here alone. Now, right there, what I like to do is, is, is do a little C, G sus C chord right there. So, it's like, uh, burning out of fuel up here alone. Then, so what I'm going to do is hold that G chord like this, and I suss in an E and a C note. So it's basically like a C G mixture. Back to the C chord. Then the, and I think it's going to be a long, long time. No touchdown brings me around and gets you fun. Same thing. Not the man I think I am at home walking down. It's from C G over B. A seven. Kick. To raise your okay, so uh, quickly I'll just go over that rhythm at the beginning there. You've got uh, from uh, verse or intro is like one, two, ah, the end, the end of one, two, ah, the end, the end of one. So if you're subdividing 16th notes, one, two, ah, the end, the end of. So one, two, If you know how to count 16, so I'm going to do some more videos on how to count rhythms because most of my guitar students are they're, they're moving their arm, but they're not really thinking of the subdivisions. You know, so you got a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one, two ah e and e and. Now I'm not thinking that when I'm playing. I just know what it is and I look at the rhythms on the page and I can suss that out. So Rocket Man, uh, not super complicated, but really fun to play. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. And um, check it out. Uh, go to fingersonthefrets.com. My name is Doug Edgel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.